Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this Lacrimosa bracelet. This was created by Souls Provider on Instagram. I think he did fabulous on it as actually he always does. He has some really, really cool hook only designs. I have some other tutorials from him on my channel. Um, and you can find more on his Instagram page. I'll have that information below for you. So this design does take about 175 bands or so. Um, but I would definitely say this design is an advanced level design. So if you're not familiar with hook only designs or just not that great at them, this may not be the one you want to try just yet. Um, but if you're not sure, definitely give it a go. You can always pause and rewind as many times as you need to. So there you have it. I think it is an awesome design and I'm excited to show you. So without rambling on anymore, let's go ahead and get started. To make this bracelet, you will want to have a double-ended hook and one C-clip. We'll start by adding the bands on that you want to be the color of your border. So I'm going to use silver silicone. We're going to start by making a basic cap band like this. But then you are going to want to C-clip this together. So grab a C-clip and... Just C-clip that cap band together. And you want it open like so. So now we're going to start adding some more border band color bands on. So we're going to pull this first one through the entire cap band. But before you reattach the other side, you're going to want to pick up the left part of the cap band and place it back on your hook like that and then close off the other side. Keeping it in that order, we're going to add on another band. So we're going to, and this is still the same color as the border band, we're going to pull it through the first two. And then you're going to want to pick up the band closest to the left, place that back on your hook, and now attach the one that you're holding. So it should look like that. So we need to do that one more time. So we're going to pull this through the first two and then we're going to pick up the band closest to the outside and place it back on our hook and then close off the one that you're pulling through. So it's looking like this. So slide it down so we can do the other side. So before we start this side, you actually need to open this up to pick up the cat band. So I'm going to take the band furthest to the outside. Open it up like so, and you're just going to scoop up that part of the cat band like that. Reattach that band, and make sure you keep it in this order. And now we're going to add two bands onto this side. So we're going to pull this first one through the first two bands on our hook. And then you're going to pick up the band closest to the outside, and place it back on your hook. Close off the one you're pulling through. Leaving it in that order, we're going to bring one more through. So we're going to pull it through the first two. We're going to pick up the band closest to the outside and then close off the one you're pulling through. So it should look like this. So now what we're going to do is switch colors. This is going to be what is glitter gold in here. I actually alternated. I used glitter gold and white, but I'm going to use all, oh, what am I going to use? Purple today. So that'll be these colors here. So again, I'm using purple. I'm going to try to use the limited edition bands for this and see how it looks. I don't usually mix different types of bands, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to be pulling this band through the first four bands. Before reattaching the other side of that band, we're going to skip the first band closest to our hook and we're going to pick up the second, third, and fourth. So all of the three outside bands and then you can attach the one you're pulling through. So it will be sitting something like that, but we have to do some rearranging. So the very two bands right here need to be sitting outside of the one you pulled through. So I'm going to hold on here because I want all of these to stay in their order. And I'm going to grab these two here and plop them over because you want it sitting just like that. 
we need to pull another purple through. So we're going to once again pull it through the first four bands. And you want to always keep everything in their order. So once again, we're going to skip the first band closest to our hook. And we're going to pick up the second band and third and fourth. Like so. So all three end ones should be back on your hook and then close off the one you're pulling through. So we have to rearrange again. So we're going to grab these two bands here and plop them outside. So it's sitting like that. But you do want to make sure that these two that we just rearranged stay in this order. In order to get that fishtail border, it has to always be like that. So now we need to add two border bands on. So that would be my silver. So we'll always add two inner colors and then two border colors. So this one's going to go through the first four bands. Then we're going to skip the first band closest to our hook and pick up the second one. And then we're going to skip the third and pick up the fourth, which is the very outside one. And then close off the one you're pulling through. So it will look like that. And you have to pull one more through. So you're going to pull this through the first three. And this time you're only picking up the very outside band, placing that back on your hook, and then close it off. Like so. So now we need to work on the right side. So I'm going to slide everything down. Turn it around and we'll start that again. So we have to start by adding our inner color on. So we're going to pull this through the first four bands. We're going to skip the first band closest to our hook. And we're going to pick up the second, third, and fourth band, which are the three end ones, and then attach the one you're pulling through like that. So we have to rearrange the two outside ones here because we want them actually sitting on the very outside like that. And then we have to pull another inner one through. So this is going to go through the first four. Once again, we're going to skip the first one closest to our hook and we're going to pick up the second one third and fourth one. So the three M ones should be back on your hook and then close off the one you're pulling through. So we have to rearrange again because we want these two bands on the outside. So grab those two and plop them over and make sure that you do not pop these two out of order. So just make sure everything looks like that right now and now we have to add our two borders on. So going back to my silver this will go through the first four bands. We're going to skip the first band closest to our hook. And we're going to pick up the second band. We're going to skip the third and pick up the fourth, which is the very outside one. And now attach the one you were pulling through. If these start getting like crossed in there, don't worry. You can fix that in a minute. So we're going to add one more border on. So this one goes through the first three and then you're only picking up the very outside band like so and then close it off. So now you can just make sure none of these are all tangled and this is how it should look now. So the next part is what I consider the most challenging part um, and what we're going to be doing is crossing these very two middle bands we're going to be crossing them both outwards. So again, this one here will cross over the first one going to the left. And then this one has to cross over going to the right. Like that. So what I also do is I grab the very two middle bands that we have now, since we just kind of rearranged, I grab the very two middle and I pull up a little bit like that so that I don't lose them on this next part. 
So now we're going to actually grab a new color band and I'm going to use white and that is what is the U shaped gold two bands in there. So again, I'm going to use white and we're going to pull the first one through the first eight bands. And then after we pull it through the first eight, we're going to have to immediately pick up these two middle ones as well as these end four silver ones. So it is a little tricky, I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to pull this to the first eight. Two. Four. And eight. Make sure those bands did not pop out of place. You're going to skip the first band. Pick up the next two. Skip the third band. And then you're going to pick up all outside four bands, which will be band five, six, seven, and eight, and then attach the one you're pulling through. So before you do anything, it's going to look like this, which is a little crazy. So we need to rearrange all of the four outside ones. We just want them to be on the outside of the band we just pulled through. So it should be sitting something like that. But we have to pull one more inner band through. So we're going to do pretty much that same thing again. So grab your second inner color band, which is white for me. Pull it through the first eight bands. Then we're going to pick up the first band closest to our hook. Skip the second and third, and we're going to pick up the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So all of those end bands, and then reattach the one you're pulling through. So the only bands you should not have picked up were the very two middle ones there. Everything else should have went back on your hook. Make sure this band stays over here. And now we're going to rearrange all of these four outside ones. The one you pulled through should be sitting in the middle, not in the very middle because that's where these two are. But it should be sitting like that right there. All right, so that was the most challenging part. And now we can go back to adding on our purple bands. So when you do pull these through, make sure that you do not rearrange these very inner bands. And also know that from this point going forward, these purple bands are gonna be done a little different than the first time. So we're going to pull this through the first six bands on our hook. We're going to skip the first band closest to our hook, pick up the second band, skip the third one, and pick up the fourth one, and also pick up the fifth and sixth one. Like that. Reattach that one you're pulling through, so it will look like that before you do any rearranging. We need these two border bands to sit on the outside, so just go like this. Plop them over like so. So now we need to add another inner band on. Well, purple, it's not the inner inner band, but you know. So this is going to go through the first five before reattaching. You're going to skip the first and second band closest to our hook. We're going to pick up the third fourth and fifth band like that. Attach the one you're pulling through. So it's like that. We're going to rearrange the border bands again because we want them on the outside. So plop them over that one you just pulled through. And make sure it's sitting like this. Okay. Now we have to add two border bands on. So that's silver for me. I don't like that band. So this is going to go through the first four. We're going to skip the first band closest to our hook. We're going to pick up the second band, skip the third, and pick up the fourth band. Attach the one you're pulling through. So it's like that, and you have to add one more border. So pull this through the first three bands. And then you're only going to pick up the very outside band, which is the third band 
if you're counting from the closest to your hook. And you're going to out attach the outside one that you were pulling through, and it should look like that. Again, do not hesitate to pause and rewind if you need to. So we need to work on this side now. Make sure you do not rearrange these bands over here. So go ahead and carefully slide it down. Turn it around. And now we can start adding on this side. So we'll start by adding the purple. So this is going to go through the first six bands. We're going to skip the first band closest to our hook. And we're going to pick up the second band, skip the third, pick up the fourth, fifth, and sixth band. Attach the one you're pulling through and it should look like that. Rearrange these outside two bands or your border bands because you want them sitting on the outside. Grab another purple. We're going to pull this through the first, uh, what is it, five bands. So pull this through the first five. We're going to skip the first two bands closest to our hook and we're going to pick up the third, fourth, and fifth band and then attach the one you're pulling through. So we need to rearrange our border bands so just plop them over here so they're sitting on the outside and now we have to add our two border bands on. So the first one's going to go through the first four. We'll skip the first band closest to our hook and pick up the second band. Skip the third one and pick up the fourth band and then attach the one you're pulling through. And then the second one we're going to pull only through the first three bands. Then we're going to skip the first two bands closest to our hook and only pick up that outside band and then attach the one you're pulling through. So it's looking like that. So this is the tricky part. <laughs> we need to, we're going to work with just the middle bands for a second. So the very two inner bands here, we need to cross them outwards. So this one crosses over the left side, this one crosses over the right side. So get them crossed over. All right. There we go, finally. So it should be crossed like that. And a little tip, like I said before, I grab the two middle ones, once you have them crossed, and I pull up just to help me not lose them for the next part. So this is where we're going to add our two white in the middle, one at a time. So again, make sure that these stay in that order when we pull this through. So you're going to pull this through the first eight bands. And if you hear the train in the background, I'm really sorry. So we're going to skip the first band closest to our hook, pick up the second and third, skip the fourth one, and we're going to pick up the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, which is the four outside bands, and attach the one you're pulling through. So we need to rearrange the outside four bands. Well, we need to make border color bands all sit on the outside because that inner one should be in the middle like so and now we have to add our second white one on so once again this is going to go through the first eight bands keeping everything in the order they're in so we're going to pick up the first band closest to our hook skip over the second and third which are these two middle and we're going to pick up the fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth band which is all of the outside bands and attach that band that you're pulling through once again we have to rearrange all four of those bands so you're going to plop them on the outside 
of the band you just pulled through. So that it's sitting like this. So if that was difficult, you can rewind it and watch it again. I'm really trying to be thorough in showing it, but I know it can be tricky. Um, so now we're back to adding our purple bands again. So I might start moving a little bit quicker, um, but we're going to pull this one through the first six bands. And remember, do not let these two get out of order. So pull this to the first six. We're going to skip the first band, pick up the second, skip the third, and pick up the fourth, fifth, and sixth band. Attach the one you're pulling through. Rearrange these two border bands. You want them sitting on the outside. Grab your second purple. Pull this through the first five bands. You're going to skip the first two bands and you're going to pick up the third, fourth, and fifth band and reattach that. You're going to rearrange the outside two bands, the border bands, because you want them sitting like that. And now we can add our border on. So we're going to add two, one at a time. So the first one will go through the first four. You're going to skip the first band closest to your hook, pick up the second, skip the third, and pick up the fourth. Attach the one you're pulling through. Grab your second one, border band color. Pull that through the first three. And you're only going to pick up that very outside band and place it back on. And then close it off. So it's looking like that. And we're going to slide it down to do the other side. Just make sure that these bands do not come out of order. So it should be looking like that before we start this side. And we need to add our purple onto this side. So pull it through the first six. We're going to pick up the second band. Skip the third, pick up the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Attach the one you're pulling through. Rearrange these two border bands so that they're sitting on the outside. We're going to pour second purple for this side. So that goes to the first five. Skip the first two bands and pick up the third, fourth, and fifth band and attach the one you're pulling through. Once again, you're going to rearrange these two border band colors so that it's sitting like that. And now you have to add your two borders on again. So this will go through the first four. Skip the first band, pick up the second. Skip the third and pick up the fourth and attach the one you're pulling through. The second border band goes through the first three. And then you're only going to pick up the outside band and then attach the one you're pulling through. So we're back at this point. So um, we have to do the tricky part again and we have to take these two middle bands and cross them outwards. This one should cross towards the right. I always have trouble crossing that one. I'm going to pull up on my two middle so I don't lose them. I'm going to grab my inner inner color which is white. I'm going to pull this through the first eight bands making sure that everything stays in their order as I'm pulling them through. I'm going to skip the first band and I'm going to pick up the second and third band. I'm going to skip that fourth one. And I'm going to pick up the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth band. And attach the one I'm pulling through. 
I'm going to rearrange all of these four bands furthest to the left so that that inner band sits in the middle. And we have to add our second inner color on. So once again, I'm going to go through the first eight bands. And then we're going to pick up the first band closest to our hook. Oh, that got rearranged. So the first band, the fourth band, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth band. And then reattach. And rearrange. So it's sitting like this. So we are at the point where we need to add our purple one again. So I'm going to go through this one more time, um, but towards the end, I'm going to do the ending like a little different because I'm going to be showing you how to close it. So we'll do this part as normal. So we'll pull our first purple through the first six bands. Skip the first band, pick up the second, skip the third, pick up the fourth, fifth, and sixth, reattach that band, and rearrange your two border bands so they're sitting on the outside. You gotta pour a second purple through the first five. We're gonna skip the first two, pick up the third, fourth, and fifth. Reattach it and rearrange your two border bands. And this is the part that's going to be different. We would normally add two border bands. We're only going to add one. Now this is only for when you're ready to close it is when you're going to do this part. Grab a border band and we're going to pull it through the first four bands. We're going to skip the first band and pick up the second band and the fourth band and then attach the one you're pulling through. So we just wouldn't be adding that second one on, okay? So it would, should sit like that and then we would come over to the other side. We have to add our purple onto this side. So this would go through the first six. We'd skip the first band, pick up the second, skip the third, pick up the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and reattach that band. Rearrange your border bands. Pull your second purple through, which would go through the first five. Skip the first two, pick up the third, fourth, and fifth, and reattach. Rearrange your two borders. And now we need to add our one border band through this one, so we'd go through the first four. Skip the first band, pick up the second, skip the third, pick up the fourth, and reattach. So this is what it would be looking like. Um, so the only thing we did different was not add a second border band onto the sides. So we would have to do this middle part one more time. So you'd have to cross your inner bands towards the outside like we've been doing. We need to add our inner color on which is white for me. So as we were doing before we'll pull this through the first eight. Keep them in, in that order. We're going to skip the first band, pick up the second and third, skip the fourth band and you're going to pick up the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth and then reattach that band. We need to rearrange because we need this band sitting in the middle. So pop all four of these bands outside of this white one. So it should sit like that. We're going to grab another inner 
color, which is white for me. And this time we're going to be pulling it through the first 10. So it should come to here. The only thing not going on here are these two outside border bands over here. So pull this through the first 10. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to skip the first two bands closest to our hook. We're going to pick up the third band, skip the fourth and fifth, and you're going to pick up the sixth band. And then you're going to skip the seventh and eighth band and pick up the two end one, which is bands nine and ten. And then reattach that one you're pulling through. We're going to rearrange these two bands, border bands, and put them on the outside. So you should have eight bands on your hook. So you're going to take one band and pull it through all eight of those bands and then bring it together like so. And attach your C-clip. Actually, you don't need to attach your C-clip because it'll be long enough to attach it here. So I hate to rush to end this, but I have less than 30 seconds left of time on my cell phone. So once again, this is the Lacrimosa bracelet created by Souls Provider on Instagram. Please don't forget to tag him and myself, Love Saloon. If you make this, we'd love to see it. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you soon at my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.